Hi all, so I purchased this TP-Link 5 port gigabit PoE switch on Amazon and I just wanted to do a quick review of it uh, and tell you exactly why I bought this particular model because there are so many TP-Links and other brands available so I thought it would be a good idea just to explain why I've gone for this particular PoE switch. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get it unboxed, I'll show you what you get supplied and then we'll talk a little bit more about the pros and cons of this switch. Okay, so that's our TP-Link um, switch unbox. So what do you actually get supplied? So you get the five port switch supplied naturally itself and I'll explain a little bit more about the, the settings that you can have on this and what the ports do and that kind of thing. You get a user guide here, but this is really essentially just plug and play. You're just gonna plug this in. Um, so there's really not a lot to know about it apart from these switches that are on the back here, which I'll tell you about in a moment. You get some little rubber feet here that you can stick on if you're not gonna wall mount this uh, just to stop it sliding around on any desktop. And you get your power supply as well. So I'm here in the UK, so I've got a UK plug. You will get a US plug uh, supplied if you're in the US. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about the switch itself. So as I mentioned earlier, it's got five ports and these are PoE. So in terms of the PoE standard, it is 802.3 AF slash AT PoE. So you just need to make sure that your PoE device that you're plugging into this is that, that particular standard. Um, and there's four PoE ports. So not all five of the ports are PoE. So this port here, port number five is not PoE. So you will use that for your uplink into this, uh, the, into this switch and the rest are PoE and that's up to a maximum of 65 watts across all of the ports and that's quite a lot. A lot of your devices are gonna not use, your five devices are gonna not use anywhere near that amount so um, that shouldn't be any concern. You can see there that there's no fan in this switch so it does have some ventilation on this side uh, so it's super quiet. There's absolutely no sound from this switch whatsoever. Um, and the reason that I've purchased this particular switch is because um, we're going to put Wi-Fi in my local church and we need uh, a PoE switch to run up to an external access point that is going to uh, deliver the Wi-Fi into the church. And that spire is quite high and it has quite a long run to it as well. So in terms of the PoE and the data, the run on this is gonna be around 100 meters. But the reason I purchased this particular switch is because on the back here, you have an extend mode for port one and two. And what that essentially does is it extends the data and the PoE up to uh, 250 meters. So I wanted the option to switch to that extended mode should we have issues with the PoE or should we have issues with the length of cable in terms of data. So I'm gonna have that option there to flip that switch to an extended mode. The only thing when you do do that, it does reduce your speeds down, your maximum speed down to just 10 megabits per second. The other button on the back here is a recovery and that's ports, all one, ports one to four have a recovery mode. And this is gonna be really ideal if you're using security cameras, for example. So should that security camera freeze or lose data, you can switch this on to recovery and it will detect the inactivity on that port and it will power it down and power it back up, essentially rebooting the device and bringing it back online. I'm not planning to use that because I'm just simply using this to connect to an AP, the external AP, and then the other port will be the internal AP, and then that will give Wi-Fi in the church. So I hope it's coming across there just how small and compact this device is. Um, it really is a fantastic little switch. Uh, naturally, you can buy eight port as well if you want uh, some more ports, and you can buy this without being PoE as well. So this is model number LS105GP. The P at the end of that model number means it's PoE, uh, but you can get the LS105G, which is exactly the same switch, but it just doesn't have the ability for PoE or to power your external device. The only other notable point on this switch is the fact that it has this, um, this hole here, which is essentially your security bracket. So you can actually put a security lock into this port here as well, should you want to secure this down to any particular desk or wherever this is gonna be, say in public 
access areas. So that's a really nice touch that you have that slot there uh, to secure this switch down. Okay, so I hope you found this useful. This is the TP-Link LS105GP 5 port gigabit PoE switch. It's available on Amazon and it comes highly recommended.